This week's exercise is a syncopated finger-style funk groove that works over a D dominant 7th chord. Let's take a look at it. So the first phrase that we're going to play is going to go like this. So we're playing two Ds at the 5th fret of the A string. We then play the open G and then two octave Ds at the 7th fret of the G string. We're then going to play the open G again and then play two C's at the 5th fret of the G string. Now following those two C's, we're just going to play the B at the 4th fret of the G string. We then play the open G again, two B flats, and then onto the, onto the uh, A at the 2nd fret of the G string. And that takes us all the way through the first bar and into the second. So what we'll do now is we'll look at the long fill that we have in bar two. And this is going to start by playing the open D string, and then we're going to hammer on to the F, and then the F sharp, so that's three notes played in one stroke. And we're going to follow those three notes by playing the A at the second fret of the G string. We're going to follow that group of four notes by playing F and F sharp hammer on again and then playing the A. That's a grouping of three notes and we're going to play that twice. So, so far we've done this. Now to complete the bar we've got three further notes to play. We're going to play the open D string and we're using the open string as an opportunity to position shift. We're going to move up and then play a hammer on from the open D onto the G at the 5th fret of the D string and then onto the A at the 7th fret. So the fill in bar 2 is going to sound like this. Let's hear bars 1 and 2 together. Okay, moving on to beats 3 and 4, we have a similar line. Uh, we're going to start with those two Ds, and then we play the open G and the octave D. We're then going to go directly onto the C without playing the open string. We then play open G and two Bs. And that's going to take us onto the B flat. And then we're going to finish this phrase by playing the open G, two A's at the second fret, and then we finish with another open G. And again. Okay, that takes us into bar four, and we just need to finish off uh, the bar with the fill. So we're going to start this fill by playing something that we've done already. We're going to play the open D string, hammer on to the F, the F sharp, and then play the A. We're then going to play a pull off from F natural down to E down to the open D string. We then play a pull off from C on the A string to the open A. And then we finish the line on the F sharp of the second fret of the E string. Okay, so bars three and four are going to sound like this. And that brings us to the end of the exercise. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the latest instalment in my Bass Lick of the Week series. Don't forget that you can download the backing track and PDF worksheet by clicking on the link below. And as always, please do let me know your thoughts on this week's lick. I'll see you next week for another bass group.